Dr. Shazali for the introduction. And so today, uh, our story is about a, a fella that I discovered only a few years ago by the name of uh, Pierre Teilhard de Chardin, uh, a French Jesuit priest. And I first stumbled onto him when I was watching a, a Ramdas lecture on, on YouTube. And during this talk, Ramdas is quoting from many different traditions, and he comes out with this quote during the video. And this is the quote Someday, after mastering the winds, the waves, the tides, and gravity. We shall harness for God the energies of love. And then, for the second time in history, humankind will have discovered fire. Oh, when I heard, when I heard those words, I was like, who said that? And how can I find out more about this beautiful human being? It was like a trumpet blast in my heart. I was like, I got to find out. So I went and I did some research. And it turns out de Chardin wore many hats. He was indeed a Jesuit priest. He was a scientist, a paleontologist, a theologian, and a philosopher, just to name a few. And one of the things that I knew immediately that I was going to like this guy, the Catholic Church went through a lot of trouble to censor him to stop him from speaking <laughs> on matters of spirituality and religion. And so right away, I thought, okay, this guy, I gotta, I gotta read his book. And so I picked up his best known work, which is called Le Phénomène Humain. I'm gonna refer to it in French because the translated title is a little bit subsourced. Um, the Phenomenon of Man, it's like, no, it's supposed to be the human phenomenon, right? And that's really what the shut name's talking about. And so this book in summary is, in my opinion anyways, a brilliant synthesis of scientific inquiry and spiritual revelation that places humankind on the cutting edge of evolution in an ongoing cosmic process of unification, or at least that's what he suggested, that the entire universe is moving in this direction of unification and synthesis and that human beings are the very forefront of this process on earth. And there's a lot in this book, it's, it's pretty dense, but uh, he traces kind of the arch of evolution through time, identifying different pivotal moments that represent massive leaps in development. The moment, for example, when two single-celled organisms decided to team up, band together, right? That's a pretty big pivotal moment in the evolution of life. But according to Deschardin, the biggest leap in this kind of stages of evolution is the leap from animal instinct to human reflection. With human reflection, Deschardins suggests that an entirely new layer of order arises on earth, what he calls the new sphere, the sphere of mind, which oversees and contains the biosphere and geosphere beneath it. So anyways, if you're keen to see what the marriage of spirituality and science could look like, I uh, highly recommend this book. Uh, and obviously, I'm a big fan of the author, so I just wanted to share that with you.